The top 10 best bodybuilding tips brought to you by IncreaseMuscleSize.net Building muscle is like taking a long road trip. You wouldn't contemplate taking on that journey without first planning a route. Well yes, you have guessed it. Building any real body mass takes planning too. And you can't do that without first studying a map first. Set out below is your map. The top 10 best bodybuilding tips. Study them and get to know them well. And then you will be able to set out your plan to success. Tip number one. Write out your goals, your plans. What exactly do you want to achieve? How are you going to achieve them? How long to achieve each step? Six months? A year? Two years? Plan your exercise routines, your diet and your supplements. Make sure you write down each training routine and the length of time you applied it. You will want to read notes on routines that work for you over the years. Don't rely or miss out because you can't remember. Remember there is a lot of truth in planning your way forward. There are two ways. A. One is to plan to succeed. Two. The other is to fail to plan and you will be planning to fail. Tip number two. You will need to balance out your workout. Dumbbells, straight bars, machines, etc. These are the tools you use to stimulate muscle growth. You don't grow in the gym. You see, rest is more important than lifting weights. Why? Because muscle only grows when it is totally and fully repaired. And rest is the only time that this is going to happen. You also require sleep because when you are in deep sleep, the body releases human growth hormone. HGH. The correct balance of proteins, fats and carbs are essential too. Tip number three, don't overtrain. It's the killer of muscle growth. If you are spending more than an hour in the gym training, then you are, have already overtrained. Make absolutely sure you don't train your muscle groups more than once a week. In other words, if you train, say, back and biceps on Monday, you don't train them again until next Monday. The same applies to other days of the week. Everyone recovers at different rates and you can't know when the muscles are totally repaired. So to be on the safe side, you need to wait seven days then train that muscle group again. This is so important and is responsible for over 98% of people in the gym today gaining none, if any, progress. Tip number four, use progression in all your training routines. It's no good picking up the same weight you were using six months ago and wondering why it is you're not making any gains. You must strive to increase if only by a small amount or your body will adapt and you will be wasting your time in a gym. Things you can try. A. Use more weight. B. Decrease the time it takes to do an exercise. C. Even decrease the time in between sets. B. Ideally you should be doing around three different exercises for each muscle group. But you should know four. In this way each week you can remove one and replace it with another. Tip number five, stop this obsession with heavy weights. Heavy weight inhibits you from doing many reps. This in turn will hinder your ability to totally fatigue your muscles. You need to take the muscle to the point when it becomes impossible for you to do another positive rep. That's the contract of the muscle, not its lengthening. Yes. Constantly using heavy weights will make you a lot stronger, but you can't have both. Not without steroids anyway. Increase your muscle through powerlifting and up bodybuilding. It's all very simple. Training that equals total fatigue equals muscle growth. Tip number six, the mind-muscle connection. 
This one is so important because if you ignore this, you'll never reach your full potential. During training, you need to picture, feel and concentrate solely on the muscle you are training. You must isolate the muscle you are training with your mind from all surrounding muscles, tendons and joints. For example, let's say you are doing dips. If you become aware of the stress being placed on your triceps as they begin to fail, you will have lost all the tension you started out with on the pecs, wasting that set. Instead, keep all of your attention on your pecs, placing tension, tension and more tension through those muscles using your mind. This alone, if done correctly, will take your muscle workout to a whole new level. Tip number seven, do the correct movement. If there is one thing that keeps 98% of people training for muscle mass from their goal, it has to be this one. I see people just wasting their time going through the motions in the gym because they believe that all one has to do is pick a weight up and you will grow. Nothing could be further from the truth. If there is one singular most important and crucial lesson you can take away from all the other tips I've mentioned above, it must be this one. You must learn the correct way to do the correct motion with weights or machines. Tip number eight, don't put a lot of the wrong type of body weight. I hear people talking about bulking up and how they should put on body weight by eating all that they can cram down their throats. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Unless you have the perfect genes that allows you to eat and only put on muscle without body fat, then stay away from this advice. It will jeopardize and wipe out any muscle mass you have gained. You need to understand that when you diet, your body will cannibalize muscle to get energy. Fat cells won't give up their stored energy until it has no choice. This is a biological fact. So the end result of putting on and storing all that extra body fat in an attempt to gain muscle size is muscle loss, the very thing you work so hard to gain. Gain muscle mass, not fat mass. Tip number nine, increase your protein intake. You'll want to eat just over the gram of protein per day per pound of lean body mass. It is a no-brainer. Muscle requires protein to repair muscle breakdown and as a bodybuilder you are continually breaking down muscle fibers. Therefore a bodybuilder will require more protein than the average man in the street. Make sure that you give your muscles all the protein it requires to repair the muscles you've trained and not only for the day or two but throughout the rest of your training days. Tip number 10. Drink enough water during training so as to not dehydrate you. Water is crucial for cell function, but you shouldn't overdrink because too much water has the opposite effect. No one has ever been able to discover how much water you should consume per day. No one has been able to find out anyone who has ever done any significant research on this matter. There is however a simple way to define if you need to increase your fluid intake and that's to simply take notice of what your body is telling you when you are becoming dehydrated. If you feel thirsty then you are dehydrated. I would recommend that you sip at some water during your training and try to endeavour not to allow yourself to become thirsty. Tip: If you are trying to lose weight then drink water at room temperature because drinking water from a fridge will slow down your metabolism, decreasing your chances of burning off fat. Of course, the opposite is true if your aim is to increase muscle size and you have a low body fat content then drink the water as cold as possible. 
There are other bodybuilding processes you need to understand and employ, but these will lay down a firm foundation for you to be getting on with. Please take note of these points because they are really crucial for the long term success of both building and keeping that newfound muscle mass. Train hard, eat lots of pizza, grow strong and big John. Want more information and or bodybuilding tips then click and visit this link increasemusclesize.net